Okay, so this is my blog project that I made for um, the competition we go to annually, and that is called Imagine. So the description of my project, um, basically I have been, I know I've made other projects on it before that were unfinished, um, of getting together film from the past been two summers that I've recorded like literally everything especially this past summer so um learning goal I guess I don't really have a learning goal just because uh when we go to competitions we want to bring the best stuff possible so we want to do something that we're definitely experienced in um what I used for this um to create my blog was I ended up using Wix um I explored a bunch of different things because I wanted to do it for free but I also wanted to have as much um, freedom to do whatever I wanted, um, so I had to do a lot of searching and in the end did have to pay some money, which I'll talk about later. Um, and then I also used all the film and pictures from Summers, and I kid you not, literally thousands. Um, yeah. So this was my kind of, my plan overview. Um, I will say I didn't really look at this much just because it's just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, just creating videos, writing, um, Problems. Okay, so like I said earlier, I explore different um, different ways I can make this. I checked out Blogger. I checked out Wix, of course. I checked out um, Weebly. I think that's one. Is that? I don't know. Um, I checked out. I even checked out Tumblr just to. I just wanted to see my options, um, but. So this past summer, actually, while I was in Oregon, I had my laptop, and um, I got this idea sparked even back then, and I actually created my homepage then on Wix, but I like did, hadn't paid any money, didn't plan to. So when this project started, I spent a while looking and kind of finally came to the conclusion that I wanted to use Wix, first of all, because I had that homepage done. I loved the layout. I loved the look of it. Um, I did, I have added some stuff to it since then, um, but, yeah, and it, honestly, in my opinion, Wix allows you to do a lot more, um, and I, for me, and for my project, and for what I want to do with it, um, it's worth the money, so, uh, mastery of technology and learning, so what I learned, um, Again, there wasn't really a learning goal, but I still did learn something. I learned how to make a website from basically scratch, and I'm not talking about like using coding or uh, HTML. I think that's what it's called anyway. Um, I'm just talking about like using, like customizing literally everything. Like I started with a completely white screen, um, and I added my own pictures. Um, yeah, everything. So the results. So if you guys ever want to look at it, this is the URL. Now we're going to go look. Okay, so this is it. It's called Bailey Summer Travels Blog. This picture I took, um, it's just a little introduction talking about what to expect. Trips kind of, so I had like, I had everything except for this. Um, little comment thing and these down here I had all of that like in June is when I made that and um, the everything else besides this um, but yeah anyway as you can see I do have more trips coming up planned out booked everything um, so I'm going to Iceland Amsterdam and Germany in May like just a few days after I graduate um, and then I'm going to Chicago with Swedish dancers again, and then on another canoe trip in Missouri. So that'll be fun. One thing I do need to figure out, I had this fixed at one point, but then I had to redo some stuff, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And somehow this home button is now showing up on my home page, which I don't want it to do. It used to not show up here and show up everywhere else that wasn't the home page, but it's not doing that now. Um, so I'll have to research or do whatever with that. Um, yeah, I think I said this picture's mine, and then I tagged all of my um, social hooks there, too. So, summer 2016. Okay, so this is the summer 2016 page, 
As you can see, these top ones don't have any media attached to them. They're just text right now. Um, yeah, this is one of a funny one. I, yeah, you can tell by the title. I fell really badly in Sweden. Um, okay, let's look at this one. So this is like when we're just arriving and stuff. So I have pictures. And then there's a video. The videos do take like a few seconds to load. Um, but I'll show you a little bit of it. A little sneak peek. Sorry if you can't hear the volume or if it's too loud. I can't tell from your perspective. all that stuff um yeah so that's that one and then I have summer 2017 and pretty soon I'll have summer 2018 um and I'm also gonna have like a miscellaneous one I'm probably gonna have to condense them all into like summers and miscellaneous and then have them toppled down um I don't have any videos in here yet I have all the film I have ideas but I haven't made anything yet um okay so I am going to talk a little bit about how I made the blog. If, let's see, I'm going to go into the editor version. So it pops up here, manage and edit, and you can edit, view all these different things. So I started out just doing the 2016 blog, and then when I wanted to go on and do something with the 2017 blog, I it wouldn't let me have two different blogs. So I did a little research, and um, I found some tips and tricks that kind of led me in the in a very good direction, actually, and um, taught me how to make one blog and then categorize each one. And I titled them Summer 2016 and Summer 2017, and then I could select each post um, under which one I wanted it to show under and so now it's separated so it's that one. Oh no it's not it's this one is the blog so the actual blog from my editing point of view looks like this not as nice and neat so if I want to click on one of these, like, see, this one's from 2017. Um, these are the 2016 ones. They're all under the same blog. I just categorize them differently. Um, I do need to do something with that eventually. A little side stuff. Anyway, okay. That's that. Yeah, that's my blog. Feel free. Come check it out. Watch my videos. Look at my pictures. Read what I talk about. Yeah. So tips and tricks, yeah, I kind of already went over that. Make sure to, um, I mean, know what you're wanting to do in a blog. I know for me and what I want to do, I definitely needed Wix. Um, and then also know what you are willing to pay to be able to do that kind of stuff. Um, would I do anything different if I did it again? Um, what I'm actually doing now, time management, I would do a lot better. And I, I'm not saying that, like, I completely blew it off um, because like the videos like they do take quite some time and I mean locating everything is also hard um, so and then if you leave something out you have to kind of redo the video and stuff and it, I will tell you what it takes a long time to upload videos to YouTube um, my most successful moment was definitely getting the first video done um, and then Getting the second one too, the first two, I, I mean, I, I actually I love all the videos, but um, ooh, I know a successful moment. It was definitely finding copyright free music that's actually good and 
I will shout them out. I guess they are called called Vlog No Copyright Music. I'm definitely going to shout them out because they, they do good work. They have great songs. Um, some of them, have, or a lot of them, of course, I don't use just because they're not the right vibes or what I want. But, I mean, like, literally, they post daily, as you can see right here. Sometimes more than one in a day. So, yeah, they are very, very good channel. Go check them out. Oh, yeah, and use them. And, I mean, of course, make sure to give them rights and stuff in your description. But, yeah. And I think that is it my for my overview. So, yeah, go check out my blog. Go check out blog copyright free music or whatever that was. Um, yeah, have a good day.